Hey folks, it's time for a Feature Friday. So hot off the presses, somebody just asked a great question in our user community here about if the permissions that you grant a mobile user have any effect on the permissions that they're also granted uh, in the traditional applications. So thought that was a great question. Let's talk about that a little bit and hopefully this will help you uh, discover or uncover or get rid of this mystery. Alrighty, so here we go. So I'm logged into Manage, one of the components of Application Suite, and I'm gonna go down to Security, Security Groups, and I'm gonna somewhat randomly pick one here. These are our planners, and so one would expect that they'd have different permissions across the different applications. So for example, if I go into applications, you can see that we are able to sort by application type. And so you have applications, which are the traditional apps that you're familiar with. You have work centers. Yes, there still are work centers, uh, even in Manage. And um, of course, then there's also tools and tasks. Now tools and tasks is a mixture of leftover work centers and the actual mobile applications. Okay, so if, for example, I'm going to go ahead and filter here, and I'm going to start out with the work order tracking uh, application. Okay, so here is a work order tracking uh, application, and I'm just going to click that. You know, this is all very familiar to you. Down here, you will have your grants for your, uh, you know, read, write, and save, okay, as well as delete, of course. And then, of course, you have the individual SIG options, the individual actions that a user is able to take uh, on, the, on the particular records. Okay, So nothing new there. You set that. But those permissions, those grants for this application are specific to this application. So whatever these settings are organized for this set of users at this level, that's what they're able to do if they access that application. However, if I come here and I'm going to go tools, okay. So here's the tools and tasks. And again, this is a collection of leftover work centers, um, but it is also the mobile applications that uh, are available. You can see inspections is one inventory counting, inventory receiving. Um, you can see service request. Let me go to the next page here. Okay. And here is technician, the mobile application for technicians. There's work approvals uh, and such. So a mobile user working on work orders using the technician mobile app, their permissions are given in the same area, but slightly differently. So I'm going to choose technician, okay? And you'll notice that immediately I have very few options here, okay? That's because most of what they're able to do is done through the object structure authorizations. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. So it's kind of a two-step process with the mobile apps. One is I need to grant them access to it, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and save the record. All right. OK. And then the next step is over here in Actions, I need to apply a security template. So these are all pre-built. And they're set up so that the mobile application, the user specifically, has the access to the underlying object structures that the API calls needed. They're, they start out with MX, API, whatever the name is. Okay, So I'm going to apply this template. Okay, And the template, there's only the one, and I know that uh, it is Tech Mobile. Okay, And I just come up here, and I'm going to get a message that says, are you sure you want to do this? Okay, I'm going to apply the template. Okay, Any authorizations are not replaced, but they're added, which it's the same over and over again, so there won't be any real difference. I click OK. All right. And so now the mobile user has the access that they need 
to work with the mobile application. Again, these permissions, these grants, are completely separate from any type of uh, permission or granting that we did in the traditional application. So, yes, a user could be able to do something in the traditional app that they can't do out in the mobile app or even vice versa. All right, so there you go, setting up security permissions between the traditional apps and the mobile apps. And you could even include the work centers into this mix as well. So hope that was helpful. See you next week.